Google Workspace email setup. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can set up your email in Google Workspace. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, before I begin, you are going to need to purchase a plan as it is not free. And you will also need a domain that you will connect to your email. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set it everything up. So here in the pricing sections, you can go ahead and click over here. You can go ahead and see which ones you want to go ahead and purchase right you can see it starts at 630 usd and it goes all the way up to 22 dollars and then we have enterprise which we will not get into but you can see over here business starter uh you've got per user per month this is going to be 630 per user per month this is of course uh currently they're giving me a small discount or else it would be seven we have the business standard which is going to be 1260 Per user per month which is going to be 22 dollars per user per month and we can see it's 30 gigabytes over here in the starter two terabytes in the standard and five terabytes in the plus and we can see over here custom business emails over here you at your company.com it's available in all of them so this is what we want so we're going to go ahead and click on start trial over here and get started so we're going to click over here and now let's get started over here you add your business name the number of employees including you and then your region wherever you are and then you hit the next button and then it's going to ask you for your email address you're going to add that and then over here choose a way to set up your account if you have a domain you can click over here if you don't you can go ahead and purchase a new one over here let's say we already have one i'm going to open it up over here i already have a hosting or domain and here i have a few domains so if you don't have one you can go ahead and click on get new domain right continue with this method and then over here you can go ahead and search for that domain so let's say this is the domain, right? So let's say we want the, the .NET version and it's going to be available over here and then we can go ahead and purchase it from here, right? And if you already have one, you can go ahead and click on this one. But this is how it's going to look like sales at your domain.net and this is how it's going to be. But since I already have one, I'm going to enter that domain name over here. So here is the domain name. I'll copy it, paste that over here, click on next and use this domain to set up your account. Yes. And then you'll use your username to sign into your Google Workspace account created. And then you just add in your username and your password. This is going to be your username. So it should be good to go. So I'm going to add the same username. So I'll be like, maybe it'll be tech support or support in general at the domain name.com. And then we add the password and then we agree. If you want, you can go ahead and click on these buttons, but I don't want to. So agree to their terms and services and you should be good to go. So give it a couple of seconds. It's going to load everything up for you. It's going to create your account. And then you just go ahead and buy the plan. It says right here, it's the starter. And you can go ahead and get started with over here. If you go with the monthly plan, it's going to be 756. If you go with the annual, it's going to be 630 with 10% off. So totally depends on you. You can go ahead and try this for free. It'll give you the following options. So click on try for free and add your payment methods, agree to their terms and services, and you are good to go. And also, you also have to create a payment profile and a payment method over here. This is basically a profile that you create for your account so that it can keep a track of all of your payments, subscriptions, and stuff like that. So here, to create a profile, click on it, add organization name, legal name, street address, suburbs, town, postal codes, and you are good to go. So just go ahead and do that. Now, I already have a profile like this, like I already have an account, but just for this video, I'm going to go ahead and add a profile over here and buy this plan. And in some cases, they might even ask you to have further verification. So for me, they ask me to go ahead and verify my ID and my bank card. So I just did that. Verification is good. It's in progress. They'll notify me as soon as it's done and we should be good to go. So now that this is done, we can just close it up and we should be good to go. All right. So now we just got to wait. And once they've approved it, our account will be created. Now I do have another account that I've already done this just in case. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in into that one and we will move on and we are good to go. I think they just recently did it. Oh no, verification is still. So I'm going to go ahead and try to sign into the other account. I just wanted to see whether or not it worked or not. But it is work. Our account is created. Just need to verify it. So we'll give them a couple of hours. 
and this is how the account will look like once it's activated so you can see over here we will have all of our options over here we'll have our users over here billing options and domains are going to be down over here chrome enterprises and other options are going to be over here on the left hand side you've got your other options like devices directory apps you've got generative ai reporting billing accounts and everything and at the top you have your own workspace so if you click on dashboard we'll show you everything that you have so you can see over here uh, this is one of the insights that currently need reviewing then we have directory where we will have users group organizations unit currently only one user as of right now then we have devices where we can see all of the devices that are currently we are logged in and then we have apps if we click on apps and go ahead and click on the overview and here we'll see all the apps that we have available we can see we have a google workspace marketplace web and mobile apps are going to be over here additional google services here and google workspace applications are going to be over here click on this one we can see we have app sheet uh, google voice and group for business all of them are, are activated and are available for other users if we have any so this is how it looks like and then over here we have generative ai which is the gemini app over here and we also have notebook alum if you haven't used notebook alum it's actually insane and highly highly effective and useful for students and or if you are doing research it's really good and this is the gemini app we can see it's currently on and is available for everyone we have other options down below we also have notebook lm we can see it's currently on if you don't want him on we can click on this service over here and we can turn it off for everyone or manage them totally depends on you and then we have security data and everything else but it's as simple as that and you can use it for literally anything your email should be good now you can see right here at the left hand side we click on it this is our account we got all the options and we have the meet options gemini contact and overall we have the normal applications of course so uh, let me just show you we come over here and switch and now we should have the gmail options over here but these are all the uh workspace options that you have so we got chat we got meet and of course you can go ahead and use it sorry but yeah currently i have canceled my subscription but just wanted to show you how it looks like and you can go ahead and use it with anything else so there you have it that's how you do it that's how you set up your email with google workspaces so if you watched the video so far then you know now how this website works perfectly and how you can use it to make money online and how you can use it to start your own business online as well just make sure to do everything i did in the video in a step-by-step -step manner and you'll be good to go and also be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works we post these types of videos daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content you will get new content every single day so don't worry about it so having said that thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time take care and goodbye